Greetings followers of the Lamb. In today's video we're going over a few things that have been confirmed by the developers and some things that we've seen in the trailers. First, we have the devs confirming three save slots, a blessing for people who maybe plan to stream it, but still want a file where they can play casually. Also, key remapping and mouse support has been confirmed on game release, and I've been seeing a lot of people ask for this during the demo. We've also got some confirmation on possible DLC and future content after release, along with the official soundtrack and possibly even an art book. Moving on to gameplay, the Lamb will be able to equip different capes, granting them various passive abilities. In the newest sermon, we have what could possibly be a map used for fast traveling, meaning we may be able to go to different areas outside of crusading. The newest sermon has introduced a few new characters and merchants. Ratua is back and now plays Knucklebones against the Lamb for fun. Helob the Spider sells those that they've captured to you if you have enough coins to buy them. The Fisherman, who initiates us into the fishing minigame, was also introduced. However, looking behind him, we can see what looks like a merchant table that sells cards and another that sells decorations for a village. We see another merchant who sells cards and decorations as well. From the information we have from the demo, we can guess there's a fair few amount of decorations that we can collect and each merchant specializes in a certain aesthetic. We got more clips of transforming followers, granting them what appears to be permanent or semi-permanent buffs during combat. Lastly, we have what looks like permanent follower buffs on the village management side of the game. Seeing this is interesting as so far we haven't gotten too much information on how followers directly help us. For now, this is only speculation supported by what we have so far. Hopefully we will see more information surface closer to the game's release, but until then we will continue to post Cult of the Lamb updates and trivia as new information becomes available. If that sounds like something you'd like to see, please consider subscribing. Thank you very much, and have an excellent day.